All right, let's do a Duracoat Finish Firearm of the Week brought to you by Duracoat. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We're going to talk about metal this week. We're going to talk about Dura Metal, then the Heavy Metal Collection. And uh, I wonder how many of you guys out there, use guys, using guys, how many of you guys know the origin of the term heavy metal? Didn't exist forever. The term rock and roll was actually coined by a DJ uh, in Cleveland. I can't remember who it was, but it was a DJ in Cleveland used the term rock and roll for the first time and it stuck. And then we had heavy metal and there became a genre. Does that make you happy? Zach? Gender. Hold. You disrespected a whole gender of rap. A genre. Yeah. A whole gender of rap. Uh, A genre of music, which came to be known as heavy metal. Now, for this is this is the double jeopardy question. How many of you who out there in the audience and the uh, discord audience knows the original or the origin of the term heavy metal? Where did it first appear and who first used it? Yeah, I'll go ahead. Was it the movie? Um, No, no, no. It was way before that. Way before that. It was, it was, it, yeah, the movie Heavy Metal, there's actually two songs on the soundtrack, one by Sammy Hagar and one by Don Felder. Who knows who Don Felder is? You guys even remember Don Felder? Don Felder actually was the guitar player for uh, Metallica. For the Eagles. You're dumb. Same thing. You're stupid. But uh, anyway, Dura Metal, M E T L trademark. Uh, in case you guys don't know, they actually have a. Duracoat finish. It's called Dura Metal. And when you put it on your guns, when you put it on your gats, it actually looks like it has metal flake because it does. Because they put pulverized metal into the uh the Duracoat. Pulverized. Pulverized metal. So you can get uh Alice Copper, Bronzy Osborne, Golden Maiden, Gray Sabbath. Guns and Rose Gold, Marilyn Bronson, uh, Twisted Silver, and Van Golden. <laughs> I like those. those are fun. <laughs> so you can do that. You can do that if you want your. Uh, I did a gray Sabbath gun a while back and posted lots of photos of it. You remember which gun it was? Yeah, it was the little um, the pistol that has a side folder and so on and so forth. Oh, nice. Remember? It's actually right there. In that case, which one? Uh, in what that case, right there, the black one that. or the, yeah, the black one? Okay, in the black one. I'm glad it wasn't a green one because there's multiples. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. All right. So that is. Uh, I just wanted to remind you guys. So uh, we haven't talked about that in quite a while. But uh, the the Dura Metal. If you want something to look really unique, uh, you can Dura Metal it, and it is available right now from Duracoat Firearm Finishes. Do we get an answer? Do we get an answer in the Discord as to the origin of the term heavy metal? No. What? I am they're waiting with sorely disappointed in my audience. Wait, Doug Arnold's typing. Stephen Offenel is born to be Yes. Yes. Thank you very I knew I could trust Doug Arnold. I knew I could I could uh, see Doug Arnold was like a a metalhead in high school i'm sure he was he probably still is yeah it's from the uh the song born to be wild by steppenwolf i could see i'm surprised i said it incorrectly to see if you would correct me but you didn't i was yes born to be wild by steppenwolf but uh, uh, i could see doug as being either a hardcore metalhead or all he <laughs> listens to is classical music <laughs> there is no in between uh Steppenwolf is actually there's a, a a a character there's a Marvel character is it Marvel or no or DC DC oh, so, he was the bad guy from Justice League yeah yeah Steppenwolf he was born to be wild uh, yes indeed 
the Steppenwolf character actually dates back to 1972. Now, the original Steppenwolf uh, dates back to 1927 in Germany, and it was Der Steppenwolf uh, from a novel, but we're not going to get too far into that. But anyway, so the term, the, the thing is heavy metal, it is out there, and you can get Dura Metal and coach your guns and be a happy camper. How's that sound? Sound good to you? All right. Good job.